Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a bookshelf statue. I get the weirdest requests from you guys. I love them. Keep them coming. If you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. To start off with, you're only going to want to grab spruce wood planks and oak wood planks. We're going to have to split this build into stages. If we try and build everything all in one go, it's going to end up a real mess. A load of colour swapping and such, and we don't want that. So, once you have both of your wooden planks, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'll be making it right here. You'll want to kick this off with a row of 16 spruce wood planks in a row on the floor. That's 16. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And once you have your row of 16 spruce wood planks, this is what you want to do next. Take a sideways view to the end of your row, so from this 16th block, and from this 16th block, going right of it, back in that direction, you want to do a row of 15 spruce wood planks. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And once you've placed that 15th block, you then want to take a sideways view to that row, and then you want to go right of this 15th block by, you might have guessed this, a further 15 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Once you've done that row of 15 blocks, you then just want to connect this 15th block all the way back over to the starting row of our bookshelf. So essentially, what you want to have is a big giant 16 by 16 square of spruce wood on the ground like that. Very simple indeed. And once you do have your big giant square of spruce wood, this is what you want to do next. And it doesn't really matter which corner you start on, by the way. I mean, this whole thing, every single side is just identical. So it doesn't matter which side, pick a side, any side. All that matters is that you start on the left hand corner of a side. So on top of this corner right here. And going up on top of your left hand corner, you want to do this little combination of blocks coming directly up. Do three oak wood planks, one, two, three, then one spruce wood, then three oak wood planks, one, two, three, and then you want to go to the right of your third oak wood plank by ten with your oak wood planks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then place a spruce wood plank, then go to the right of your spruce wood plank with your oak wood by 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then go down from that fourth block by 2 again with your oak wood, 1, 2. Then go down by 1 with your spruce wood. And then go down by three with your oak wood planks to connect that spruce wood block back down to your original row of spruce wood to give you something which should look exactly like this. We've essentially just constructed the bottom shelf of our bookshelf. So pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've done that the once, we actually need to do this three more times, going all the way around our bookshelf. So to just do this again, starting, well, coming over to the right-hand side and starting from this upper left-hand corner here, you just want to start this off by going right by 10 with your oak wood plank. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then 1 spruce wood. Then go to the right by 4 with your oak wood. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then go down by 2, 1, 2, then 1 spruce wood, and then go down by 3 with your oak wood planks to reconnect to your spruce wood. And as you can see, it's absolutely identical to the first side of our bookshelf. And again, we've just got to do this two more times. So coming round to the back of our bookshelf, and again, starting from this corner here, just to do this a little quicker this time, 10 oak wood, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1 spruce wood, 4 oak wood, 1, 2, 3, 4, then go down by 2, 1, whoops, <laughs> 1, 2, then 1 spruce wood, and then go down by 3 with your oak wood planks to reconnect back to your spruce wood base. So that's the third side, pretty much done. We've just got to come over to the fourth side now, and we've just got to do one long row, starting from this corner, 10 oak wood planks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
one spruce wood, and then the rest is oak wood planks. And again, as you can see, every single side is identical. That's why I did those last two sides kind of quick. You've already done them twice before. So once you've done that to every single side, this is what you want to do next. So take out your spruce wood planks, and what you essentially want to do is you want to do a layer of spruce wood planks all the way around on top of your bookshelf. So just place a big giant square of spruce wood planks all the way around on top of your bookshelf. So you just want to have something which should look a little bit like this. And that is pretty much essentially the separation between the bottom shelf of your bookshelf and the top shelf. This thing should really be called a bookcase, but have I, have I just been pronouncing it wrong? Hang on, guys. No, it's definitely a bookshelf. Huh. Weird. More of a bookcase than a shelf. Sorry about that, guys. I got ever so slightly distracted. So, continuing on. Once you've taken care of every single one of these bottom shelves, it's now time for us to move on to the top shelves. So, pick a side, any side. Again, it really doesn't matter which one. They're all going to be identical. And come up to the upper left-hand corner. And on top of this block, coming directly up, you want to do this sequence of blocks. Do three oak wood planks, one, two, three, one spruce wood plank, and then three more oak wood planks. One, two, three. And then go to the right of that third oak wood plank by nine with your oak wood planks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then place a single spruce wood plank, and then go to the right of it by five with your oak wood. So one, two, three, four, five. Then go down from that fifth block by two with your oak wood plank. So one, two. Place a single spruce wood plank, and then go down from it with your oak wood planks until you reconnect to that layer of spruce wood planks that sits on top of the bottom shelf. And there you go. It's pretty much identical to the lower shelves of your bookcase, except that that top spruce wood block is placed one to the left in relation to the bottom shelves. So that is pretty much the only difference. Once you've done that to the first side of your statue, pause this if necessary of course, we have to do the exact same thing on every single one of the other sides. So coming over to the right hand side now, starting from this corner block, do nine oak wood planks coming over to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then do one spruce wood plank. Then go to the right of it by five with your oak wood plank. So one, two, three, four, five. Then go down from that fifth block by two, one, two. Do one spruce wood plank, and then connect that spruce wood plank down to that layer of spruce wood planks. And there you go, absolutely identical to the side that we've just done. Let's move on to side number three, and I'm just going to be kicking up the speed a little bit. So coming on to side number three, starting from this corner block, do nine oak wood planks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One spruce wood, five oak wood planks. One, two, three, four, five. Go down from that fifth plank by two, one, two, do one spruce wood plank, and then connect that spruce wood plank back down to your layer of spruce wood. Again, identical. Moving on to the final side now. So coming on to the final side, we've just got to do the long row here. Starting from this block, nine oak wood planks. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoops. Then one spruce wood plank, and then just a row of oak wood planks to connect the spruce wood to the front of your statue. And there you go. Again, absolutely identical all the way around. And once you've taken care of that, you have fully completed that top row of shelves. So as always, pause this if necessary if you're still working on any of that of course. Once you have taken care of that however, it's time for us to move on. I'm not sure which bit to do next. I don't know whether to actually fill in the shelves or whilst we have the wood to fill in the top of our statue. I think we'll fill in the top of our statue actually. Let's do this. So come up to the top of your statue, and this is the point where you have to pick where you want the front and the back of your statue to be. So, this is where the front of my statue is. So, coming towards the back of your statue here, 
going from left to right, and in some cases right to left, we're just going to be building up the rows, coming towards the front of the statue like this. I'll show you what I mean. So, starting from the back of the top of your bookcase, or bookshelf, now it's more of a bookcase. You want to start off by doing an entire row of oak wood planks coming towards the front of your statue like that. You guys can see how this is going to go now. For the next row of the top of your bookcase, starting from the right hand side you want to do one oak wood plank coming in from the right, followed by one spruce wood, and then you just want to fill the rest of the row in with oak wood planks. For the next row, starting over on the left hand side here, you want to do five oak wood planks, one, two, three, four, five, one spruce wood plank, and then fill the rest of the row in with oak wood planks. For the next row, you just want to do an entire row of spruce wood planks. For the row after that, you just want to do an entire row of oak wood planks. For the next row, coming in from the left, do three oak wood planks, one, two, three, one spruce wood plank, and then fill the rest of the row in with oak wood planks. For the next row, coming in from the right hand side, do four oak wood planks, one, two, three, four, one spruce wood, and then fill the rest of the row in with oak wood planks. For the next row, do an entire row of spruce wood planks. For the next row, coming in from the left hand side, do four oak wood planks, one, two, three, four, one spruce wood, and then fill the rest of the row in with oak wood planks. For the next row, coming in from the right, do one oak wood, one spruce wood, and then fill the rest of the row in with oak wood planks. For the next row, coming in from the left, do three oak wood planks, one, two, three, one spruce wood, and then fill the rest of the row in with oak wood planks. For the next row, do an entire row of spruce wood planks. For the next row, coming in from the right hand side, do six oak wood planks, one, two, three, four, five, six, one spruce wood, and then fill the rest of the row in with oak wood planks. And now finally, for the final row, coming in from the right hand side, do two oak wood planks, one spruce wood plank, and then fill the rest of the row in with oak wood planks. And what you should be left with is something that should look exactly like this. That is what you want for the top of your bookcase statue. As always, pause this if necessary if you're still working on any of that, of course. Once you have taken care of that, however, it's now time for us to move on. So the next order of business, other than shifting the sheep out of the way, is for us to fill in every single one of these lower shelves. So, discard every material that you have, you should only have the two, and you want to drag out this cascade of colours. Grab black wool, brown wool, grab orange, Red, dark blue, lime green, yellow, light grey, and finally, cyan wool. I thought we were going to run out of room then. Phew, that's just the amount of colours that we need. So once you have every single one of those, it's now time for us to do these bottom shelves here. So again, pick a side, any side, it really doesn't matter, they're all identical. And come down to the bottom left-hand corner. And by the way... It's kind of hard to tutorial these shelves since they're kind of in a completely random pattern and explanation wise it's not going to be so great. It's probably going to be easiest if you just kind of wait until I show you the zoomed out view when it's all done. But I'm going to try and take this first one nice and slow and uh, you can build it from that if you wish. So coming down to the bottom left hand corner, take out your orange wall and starting from on top of this block do a row of free orange. Then stack three more rows on top of that free orange, so you want four rows of free orange. Then, to the right of that orange, you want to do two rows of five red wool coming up like that. To the right of those two rows of five red wool, you want to do a row of three dark blue wool. 
To the right of your dark blue, you want to do two lime green. To the right of your two lime green, you want to do two brown wool. On top of the brown, you want to do two lime green. To the right of your brown wool, you want to do two yellow wool, and then stack two more yellow wool on top of your yellow wool, then stack two rows of two light grey, followed by one row of two yellow wool. To the right of your yellow book that you've just constructed, do a row of four red wool. To the right of your row of four red wool, do two rows of six dark blue wool, so spanning from the bottom to the top, two rows of six dark blue. To the right of your dark blue book, do a row of four cyan, like so. We've not finished yet. What you then want to do, coming all the way over to the left hand side here, starting from on top of this orange block right here, do two black wool coming up. Go to the right of that second black wool and come all the way over to the other side, so you hit this dark blue wool, then go down by one with your black wool. Then place a single black wool in this right hand corner of your shelf, and then fill the entire rest of the shelf in with brown wool, so exactly like this. And as I said guys, I mean, that's really a, a real mess of colours, that's a real mishmash of colours, really hard to describe. Um, I think that I did that at a pretty decent speed, so if you wanted to try and copy it from that, if this isn't working for you, although... I should think that you guys should have very little trouble managing to copy exactly what I have on the screen right now onto your own bookcase. I mean, it's a pretty confined space, and if you just take it like a book at a time, I don't think you'll have too much trouble. So, as always, pause this if necessary if you're still working on any of that, of course. Once you've done that to the one shelf, you actually have to go all the way around and do that exact same pattern on every single one of the other lower shelves. Not the upper shelves, though the upper shelves are different. And actually, I'm going to cut the part where I do all of the other rest of the shelves out of the video because it's actually going to take quite a while and I'm not really going to be doing anything different and you guys can't really follow this little section. I mean, it's going to add a bit of time to the video and um, honestly, I think that the easiest way is you can either keep re-watching that exact same part that I've just done, or it'd probably be best for you if you, like, just took this still right here and just copied it onto your statue. So, I'm going to go away, I'm going to fill in all of the bottom shelves, and I'll be back in a moment once I've done that. Alright guys, so as you may or may not be able to tell, I've been all the way around our statue, filling in every single one of these bottom shelves. Once you yourself have reached this point in your statue right here, it's now time for you to move on to the top shelves. So I'm going to head all the way back around to the front of the statue. I like starting on the front, despite the fact that it's all identical all the way around. So this is what you want to do. Come up to the second level of your bookcase and discard every single one of your colours. We're going to need a brand new set. Well, not really, but we need them in a different order. This is easier. So discard your colours and grab this set of colours in this exact order. Grab black wool, brown wool, red wool, light grey, cyan, dark blue, lime green, dark grey, and I believe that that is every single one of the colours that you'll need. The only difference there is that we now have dark grey. We had all of the other colours, however, they are now in a much more beneficial order. You'll, you'll thank me for that, trust me. So, once you have every single one of your colours, again, just pick any side of your statue, it doesn't really matter, and come down to the bottom left-hand corner of your shelf. I'm going to be doing this second set, this top set of shelves, exactly how I did the first set, the bottom set of shelves. So, starting from this bottom left-hand corner, do two red wool, like this. And then do two rows of two red wool directly on top of your two red wool, so you want to have three rows of two red. Do a row of two light grey on top of your red. Then do another row of red wool. That's your first book. To the right of your first book, do a row of four cyan wool. To the right of your row of four cyan, do two rows of five dark blue wool. 
To the right of your dark blue, do a row of two light green. Stack two rows of two dark grey on top of your lime green. And then do three rows of two lime green on top of your dark grey. To the right of your lime green book, do two dark brown coming up. Then two red on top of your dark brown. Then do a row of four red wool to the right, then to the right of that do a row of two red wool, so you just want to have something which should look like that. Then to the right of that weird book, I think it's a book that's kind of like falling over, like a thick book that's kind of like on its side, to the right of that you want to do two rows of five lime green coming up like this. And now finally for our final book, do two rows of two cyan. Then do a row of light grey on top of your cyan, and then finish this off by doing a row of cyan, so that is what you want for your final book. Now let's fill in the rest of this, we've just got a little bit of brown to add, and some black wool, so we've just got to fill the rest of that space in with a little bit of brown and that black wool. You should end up with something that should look a little bit like this. This is what you want for your top shelf. I actually think it's a little more simpler than the bottom shelves. There's less books and they're a lot thicker. So that is what you want for your top shelf. Again, you're going to want to do this exact same design all the way around the top of your bookshelf. You want to do this three more times, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this out now. And I'm going to be back once I've done exactly this on every single one of the other sides. And in doing that, I'll actually have finished the statue. So I would recommend pausing this here, doing exactly what I'm going to do, and I will be back in a moment. So once you guys have actually reached this point right here in which you have filled in every single one of those top shelves as well as those bottom shelves, you've actually 100% fully completed your bookcase statue. Look at it. Look how cool this looks. This is one of my favorite item statues. I really do like how this looks. I'm going to give you a bit of a side-by-side -side in a moment when I get back over to the starting point here. Have a look at this. I mean, I think that I managed to get pretty close here. I think uh, most of the colors are a color match. Um, I mean, some of the books are kind of like a two-tone color, and those like turquoise looking books obviously you can't really replicate those I mean cyan's as close as you're going to get but like the yellows and that book on the first shelf all the way over on that left hand side it's kind of brown but I didn't want to use brown as you have to use brown for like the fading in the back of the shelf so I went with orange but other than that I think that's actually it's pretty close and it's a, it's a pretty pretty cool looking statue I really do like it actually I like it probably yeah, probably more than the other item statues that I've done, to be honest with you. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit more complicated, there's a little bit more to it. So, hopefully you guys have exactly what I have on your screen. Hopefully you had an easy enough time making this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. <music>